We're going to celebrate an outward expression of an inward work that God does in people, convicting us of sin, sin we just confessed, granting us repentance that we just sang about, and giving us saving faith in Christ. And every baptism we get to witness is a reminder of that saving inward work that the Spirit does as He points us to Christ and grants us salvation. So we're going to hear another testimony of that today. So I want to invite Yumeli Norton to come down. Let's welcome her. Good morning, church. This is my story of surrender. I grew up in a home with loving parents and a Christian mother. I learned about Christ from a young age, going to church every Sunday and doing daily devotionals with my mom and my grandpa as a young child. One of my aunts said that I loved devotional time so much that I would announce that it was time for our devotions and come in the room carrying my grandpa's Bible, which she said was as big as I was. I remember talking about Jesus with friends, but my love for Christ faded away in my teens and early adulthood. I became, a luke, uh, became lukewarm in my faith, and being a Christian just meant going to church on Sundays, praying to God for things I needed or wanted, but living my life my own way. I was a person that liked to plan everything on my own and have control of my own life. I thought that my life was good and going as planned until the summer of 2020 when my husband left me and my world came crashing down. I didn't think I could live without him, and through it all, God felt very far away. At times, I didn't realize that my husband had become an idol to me, and I had made him my identity and my priority in everything in my life. But God, in his mercy and everlasting love, opened my eyes. I saw that Jesus loved me so much that he died a terrible death and paid the price for my sins with his own blood. I was, the one that had I was the one that had pushed God away, but in my lowest, he picked me up and gave me a new life. In early 2021, uh, I repented and asked God to take control of my life. I asked him to forgive me for all the years. He was not the first in everything that I did, and I completely surrendered my life to him. My identity is now in Christ, and God is the first in my life and my first love. Sorry, Mom and Dad. I know that God will never leave me or forsake me. As Psalm uh, 94, 19 says, when the cares of my heart are many, your consolations cheer my soul. I no longer worry about the future and taking control of my own life. And today, in front of the church, I want to confess that Christ is my Lord, my Redeemer, and my first love. Yumeli, in light of your confession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 